So welcome to LNP Renewable System Regulator. Today we are going to discuss about what is CBTC that is Communication Based Train Control in Metro Station Basics. So this session we had already discussed part 1 and 2. If you have missed out please subscribe to the channel and in the channel we have a playlist. So in the, inside the playlist so we have a CBTC Communication Based Train Control in Metro Station Basics part 1 to 3 English. So you can refer to that and you can know about what are the topics which we had discussed in the part 1 2 as well. So what are the things that we are going to discuss in part 3 of CBTC. So here how a uh, onboard equipments of CBTC that is communication based train control looks like and what are the functions of this onboard ATP that is automatic train protection and what are the functions of onboard ATO automatic train operation how a wayside equipments looks like and what are the functions of the wayside ATP and what are the functions of the wayside ATO and what are the functions of communication systems in the CBTC technology okay and what are the different types of communication systems available in the CBTC and what are the functions of ATS okay what is ATC okay and what are the functions of interlock system in CBTC and what are the standard parameters of CBTC system and we are making a difference and a comparison between the main lane train system and the metro train system and if you if you had a plan okay if your government had a plan Okay, it, it has a requirement to build a metro station and what are the things that should be available, what are the rooms that should be available inside that building to establish a metro station there and what are the telecom equipments which will be present inside the metro station. So as we told earlier in all the parts, okay, we are using so many abbreviations and if you have any doubt in all the part 1, 2 and 3 we had provided the screen for abbreviations. So if you have any doubt when listening to this video in the description or in the abbreviations you can refer to this uh, part and clarify yourself. So this is a simple architecture okay, of this CBTC technology. So here we have an automatic train supervision and we have a VSI ATP interlocking and VSI ATO and we have a ready communication system and we have onboard equipments like ATP and ATU apart from so many equipments are, will be present inside this. And if you get in depth inside uh, the this onboard equipments in the station we have a PTS, we have a IOS and we have a smart ways and inside the tunnel in order to work we need a radio and we have a ATC and in the way side also we have ATS, ATC and you know uh, smart interlocking systems. So this is a simple technology we are trying to discuss. There are so many technologies which are available in the market. And this is a typical plan which is showing the train board and the wayside okay, installation of the CBDC that is communication based train installation. So as you can see, okay, we have a wayside network and we have a radio communication network. Okay. And we have a inside the wayside we have a ATS that is automatic train supervision and we have a traffic operation network with the help of the power management system and we have a solid state interlocking we have a wayside zone controllers and we have a automatic train operation ATOs on the wayside as well okay and if you get into the train inside the train we have an onboard network inside the train we have an antenna okay we have an onboard radio unit okay we have a ATO okay we have ATP and we have so many semiconducting sensors which is present inside the train and uh, how the onboard equipments looks like so this is an example uh, so when you look, look into the train we have a CBDC equipments which is present we have accelerators and on the you know wheels we have a tachometers in order to know the speed of it okay as we get in uh, depth inside a uh, onboard components of CBTC we will have a vehicle onboard computer we will have a automatic train protection we have a automatic train operation and we have a data communication system and also we have a train units apart from this uh, onboard equipment we have uh, this train operated display that is TOD so this is how it looks like so we will try to know the target speed what is the actual speed okay and uh, uh, you know we will have the over speed, uh, over speed indications also inside in that uh, operator display panel okay so this is the figure okay when it arrived the destination so this is how it will be in the display uh, this uh, train operator 
display this is how it will be when train is at the stopped position okay and when the train is departing okay when the train is departing this is how the uh, you know train will be it means uh, the doors will be closed okay so many things we will try to know inside this uh, train operator display itself and these are some of the example of the onboard equipment which are present inside our delhi metro cab okay this is an example of a um, view of a train which has a driverless metro cab okay and this is uh, you know another view of uh, how the driverless delhi metro cab looks like so first let's try to know about onboard atp that is automatic train protection so it is the one which is in charge of the continuous control of the train speed according to the safety profile so what are the main functions of this atp it has a detection the prevention of signal passed at danger okay it has a di display of signal aspect that is movement authority target distance it will have a continuous train control and it plays important role in protection for permanent and the temporary speed restrictions and what is ato that is on board ato automatic train operation it is the one which is responsible for automatic control of the traction and brake braking effort in order to keep the train under the threshold established by the atp system its main task is to facilitate the driver autonomy function to operate the train in a fully automated mode while maintaining the traffic regulation targets and the passenger comfort and it plays important role in reducing the power consumption and what are the primary functions of this automatic train operation it automates the speed it automates the station stopping and it automates the train and the platform door control next is how a wayside equipment looks like so this is the exact photo from the side so in the first one we can see the tags which are connected to the track for the location determination okay and we have a wayside zone controllers also so what is the function of this wayside atp that is automatic train protection it is a subsystem which undertakes the management of all the communication with the train in its area additionally it also calculates the limits of movement authority that every train must respect while operating in the mentioned area so it plays a critical role in operation safety so this is one of the example okay in order to determine the exact location of the train in the track we have a tags connected in it so it will sense the exact position of the train so it has a receiver and the transporter so with the help of this they will try to transport the signal to the atp okay next is ato that is wayside ato system it is the one which is in charge of controlling the destination and regulates the target of every train okay it also provide all the trains in the system with their destination as well as the other data such as how much time it need to dwell in a particular station and also it plays important role in creating the instant alarm even communication and handling the skip and hold station commands so what are the communication system so here as we discussed earlier so with the help of this radio we are establishing the communication system okay it will integrate the digital network radio system by means of antennas or normal cables for a direct communication between the track equipments and the trains so as we told earlier the hertz range will vary from 2.4 gigahertz okay even for 900 megahertz also in different places they are using nowadays we are using wifi networks as well and what are the different type of communication systems which is available in the cbdc first thing is that we have a intra train communication system that is train on board network and we have a train to track radio network and we have a track side backboard network that is way side to way side network and what is ats that is automatic train supervision its main task is to act as interface between the operator and the system and managing the 
traffic according to the specific regulation criteria. Okay, it plays important role in event and alarm management with the external systems. So, what are the major functions of this ATS? It plays important role in supervision of the train status, automatic route selection, adjustment of the train operation during the unusual incidents, automatic schedule creation, automatic operation logging, statistics and report generation, automatic system status monitoring and coordination of the personnel scheduling for the train management. Interlocking systems. So this is the one. Okay, it will be in charge of the vital control of the track side objects such as switches and signals as well as the one which is directly related to the functionality. So it, it will be integrated into the various ADP systems also. And what is ATC? So ATC that is automatic train control. It is a combination of ATP, ATO and ATS that is automatic train production, automatic train operation and automatic train support. all these three things this ATC automatic train control will do it is a combination of these three and what are the typical parameters for CBTC so when you try to know the parameters of the maximum speed we have a range from 10 to 40 and when you go for a resolution of the train location we have a range of plus or minus from minus 0 0.25 to 6.25 meters and when you get into know the accuracy, we will have a plus or minus 5 to 10 meters. Okay. When you go for a train to wayside message communication relay, it can be from 0.5 to 2 seconds. And when you go for a wayside to train message communication delay, it can be from 0.5 to 2 seconds. And when you have a rollback direction criteria, it will be from 0.5 to 2 meters. And zero speed direction criteria, it will be less than 103 kilometers for 2 seconds. And for the accuracy of a train speed measurement, we will have a plus or minus 3 kilometers per hour difference. So these are the you know parameters that we should comply when we are creating a system for a particular metro station inside a location. And if, if you make a compact study between the normal main line and the metro railways, average speed of the main line can be from 50 to 75 kilometers per hour, but for the metro station it will be from 30 to 35 kilometers. Headway for the main line will be 5 to 7 minutes, for the metro station it will be from 90 to 180 seconds, that is 3 minutes. Okay. And for the interstation distance for the main line it will be from 6 to 10, 10 kilometers, for the metro it will be from 0 0.8, 1 or up to 5 kilometers we have a interstation distance. And the braking distance for the main line will be from 800 meters to 1.5 kilometers, but for the metro station it will be from 250 meters. So signal clearance is 30 seconds to 3 minutes for the mainland railway, whereas for the metro it will be from 3 to 5 seconds. Stoppage timing at the stations will be for 2 to 5 minutes in the main line, whereas in case of metro it will be from 20 to 30 seconds. And the distance between the two train in the main line it will be from 6 to 10 kilometers. In the automatic block also we will have a distance of around 1 to 1.5 kilometers, whereas in case of metro we will have a 25 to 30 meters. And what are the building requirements? So it should have a OCC that is operation control center and for the central equipment room, okay, we need to have uh, PAS, CCTV, BAS, ACS, DCS. So all these things should be there in the central equipment rooms. So we need to allocate uh, rooms for all these equipments. Again, okay, for signal equipment rooms, for the depot also we need uh, this much rooms and for we, are, we need to have a power room continuously with a three phase supply along with the UPS support with the nearby battery set and for the stations you know we need a signaling equipment room telecom equipment room and UPS rooms and station control rooms also and what are the telecom assets which will be present in the metro station we will have a CCTV and we will have a BBRS that is backbone routers we will have a data communication system and we will have a passenger information display system, we will have a public address system, we will have a building automation system, we will have access control system and we will have a telephone exchange, we will have a tetra that is radios and we will have the master clock systems and finally we will have the central supervision systems. Thank you so much, please subscribe and press the bell icon and if you want to know more and learn more, please contact us, we have provided the contact details here. Okay, we are providing design, installation, testing, commissioning support for solar on-grid, off-grid and hybrid applications 
and for the agricultural farms we are providing the solar fencing systems okay as a kit you can contact us and for um, uh, building automation the home home automation we are providing design installation testing commissioning consultancy and training supports also and if you are planning to work in the gcc countries in the automation industry we are providing you know programming training for working with the plc's like siemens allen broadly and delta okay and automation basics also we are providing and if you want to know the electrical vehicle basics and you know communication based train control methods basics you can contact us we are providing the contact details here thank you so much and if you have missed out part 1 2 3 so please subscribe to the channel and go into the playlist we are providing everything and also as a link also we are providing thank you so much